Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell and you will be notified every single time Phil <laughs> uploads a video. So, Phil is going to describe the seven colors that I have on my canvas today. This is a 12 by 24 and um, they're all from color to go from Sherwin-Williams. And uh, we'll start out with this OB Lilac. Yeah, OB Lilac, yes. Then we have Salty Dog. We have Sea Washed Glass. Pollen Powder. Dishy Coral. Kimono Violet. And Bravo Blue. Cool. So this is a new experiment that I am doing. It just kind of popped in my head to see what's going to happen here. I have no idea. Phil has no idea. I told him we're just going to do different colors on the canvas. Yes. So that's what we're doing. Well, you've done some split colored canvases before, but never with seven colors. No, I have not. So this is going to be something new. Let me tell you. I might do a little bit more of this. I'm not too sure. Oh, the colors I'm using here. Oh, that's we forgot are, um, those. Arteza, Bordeaux Red. This is Tango Pink by Primary Elements, PBO Iridescent Green Yellow, Chrysocolla Primary Elements, Daffodil Primary Elements, Amsterdam Violet, and this is my 24 karat gold. You're so excited to get going, you for, almost forgot the colors. Yes, I did. So here we go, people. We're gonna see what we get out of this. Never done anything like this. Yeah, these, the color, seven bases. these color to go paints by Sherwin Williams are wonderful because the consistency right out of the can is perfect uh, for what Kathy likes to do. I never, um, I never add anything to my base paints anyways. No matter what, what product I use, it comes right out of the can. Well, yeah, that's true, but not all products work as well as uh, some products do, so. Ah. This one is uh, Daffodil by Primary Elements. All these colors will be in the description box. The colors of the paints Kathy use, is using and the colors of the base paints that Kathy laid down, of course, will be in the description box. I think I am going to put a little bit on the sides. Yes. I think that's a great idea. I'm just going to do squiggles today. I'm in the squiggly mood. How do you like that, Phil? I do. It's pretty snazzy, huh? <laughs> I think it's kind of neat just the way it is, really. Uh, well, it's colorful. Yes. This is a nice, simple design. Eye-catching. Oh, it's eye-catching, all right. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller, the same name as her YouTube channel. She'd love to have you join both groups. It's free. There's no cost at all. Uh, the YouTube channel, you have... Some discount codes you can take advantage of, along with some other specialty videos that are in the description box. And in her paint pouring group, you can post your own creations, make comments, ask questions. It's a wonderful group, especially for beginners. You can see lots of different artists' uh, paintings and techniques. And there's direct links to both Kathy's YouTube channel and Facebook group in the description box. And uh, go to the description box and save yourself some money. Uh, we have coupons in there for uh, Primary Elements, which is color art. We have coupon for KS Resin. Yes. And if you want any of the same uh, tools or anything that I use, go to my Amazon shop. It's all in there, whatever I use. Again, there's links to Kathy's Amazon shop. 
in the description box and also uh, to what she just described. <laughs> My mind went blank. Oh, the, the discount codes. Okay, one more, and then we're going to start swipey dipey. This is kind of pretty. Yeah, I hope a lot of the base colors uh, show through. Well, let's see. We got a lot of colors going here. Shoot. Oh, I didn't think I brought up my spatula. So, this is my cell activator, which is oxide black and Australian Floetrol. The oxide black is from Amsterdam. Correct. You can make any colored cell activator you like by simply changing the paint color. And Kathy does like to use Amsterdam paints for her cell activator with the Australian Floetrol. I'm gonna go get my other spatula after I do this one. This is not my normal one that I use. So I will go get it. Well, did you want to use the other one with instead of this one? No. Okay. All right. No, we'll be fine. Okay. We'll be fine. Okay. Starting to get some activity. I'm just going to go quickly get my other one so Phil can keep you guys company. <laughs> and I shall return. All right. I think this is going to be a pretty cool composition once Kathy is done with it. For those of you who don't know, Kathy also is a is a teacher in metal clay. That's one of the bracelets that she made. She really enjoys doing that. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a paint skin painting. That Kathy did. I'm not getting the whole thing in, but she had a lot of fun using her paint skins and making another creation out of it. And I'm back. And you're back. I'm back. I had to go all the way downstairs. So you were not prepared. Yeah, I guess not. I did need that exercise, though. <laughs> well, you got you got uh, a variety of. Spatula there. You always have your favorites. Or palette though. knives, whatever you want to call them. You always have your favorites. Oh, wow. Getting some real nice activity there. Very cool. Okay. Ah, my nose is running. I know, go catch it, right? As you can see, Kelly puts a, a good amount of the cell activator on the back of that spatula. Make sure she has enough to go through the whole swipe might lose some of those colors, those background colors. Well, it's okay. You don't have to have a lot of it showing through. I think we're going to have enough showing through. To we should. Keep it, uh, give a nice interest to it. Oh, got carried away on that one. Beautiful cells there. Great coloration, vibrancy. All right, people, we're gonna let that percolate a little bit. We're gonna see what we get here. It's perking. My Mr. Coffee is perking. Oh, it is perking. Yes. 
pretty darn cool. I must say so myself. Oh wow, this is gonna be pretty cool, I think. I like all these background colors, actually. I yeah, I think, we're, I think you're gonna have a little bit of each of them showing up in the back of the swipes. I think I wanna tip it a little to bring it into each other. I'm not oh, too sure. Okay. I might. You can see Kathy is blowing through a straw to encourage the colors to come up through the cell activator. Sometimes you get a little excess cell activator and it takes a while for everything to perk, but I believe that's going to I'm come through very nicely. Some of it up. Okay. You could just dab it with your finger if you want. Actually, I don't really mind having a lot of space between those because it gives, again, a little bit different composition, composition. To, to all the other ones where they have so many cells grouped together. Here, you can get some individual cells, very nice individual oh, cells. Okay, I think, I think I might tip it or I might just um, do a little enhancing to bring them together and then spin it. But I think I might want to tip a little bit. Well, okay, uh, my unsolicited advice for today I don't think I want to. <laughs> is perhaps maybe a, do a, a, a little bit of spinning before you decide what to uh, what to do next. That's just... Uh, I don't think it's going to... Okay, be. that's fine. It's not going to do don't what do I it. want, okay. I don't think. That's wonderful. Yeah, see, it's not doing what I want. Okay. So I'm going to do this.
think I'm going to leave it. I yes. love it. This is fantastic. I love it. The, I'll tell you, what, the seven base colors you put down all do show up. And I just want to point out, this was a central area that had all that black cell activator that, uh, you know, at first I thought, uh-oh, there's a lot of cell activator. But look at the wonderful cells that came through. Nice, large, beautiful, colorful cells. This is cool. Can you this turn it to really low ways? cool. There we go. I love this. People, uh, try the Sir Sherwin-Williams color to go. And don't be afraid to put layers down. I mean, just don't be afraid of it. It's only paint. If you don't like it, you can scrape it. But this is what you get. You can see every single color. The, I have the lilac. lilac. I have the blue. I have the sea wash green. I have the yellow oh. uh, pollen. Right. I have the coral color. I have the purple. And I have the blue. Right. That's it's actually beautiful. violet. Well, just violet. so they know. Okay. But yes, they all are showing through, which is really, really this cool. This is really neat. Wonderful coloration uh, from the color art pigments that you used. Just I'm fabulous. Really, Look at that. I'm really glad that I tried this because this is really neat. It is. You have a lot of interest all over the canvas. I'm loving this. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty. So if you like my creation, give me a uh, thumbs up and give me a like. You and have share paint it with under you. your nose, I think. Okay, that's okay. And share it with your friends. Well, I'm so full of paint, yeah, I'm not fine. surprised. And um, I guess I can <laughs> wipe the paint off from my nose. There you go. Is it there going? you go. But anyways, you know, when you're a painter, you just get paint all over. As long as I don't get it in my hair, I am just doing fine. My face, I don't care. So if you like it, like I said, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Please uh, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join us. You never know what I'm gonna do. Um, this was just a fluke in my head that I came up with today. So until the next time, everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see y'all later, alligators. Bye. This is so cool.